Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of my Trove Let's Play series. Today, we're going to be crafting up one of the newer dragons that came with the recent Geode patch. So I'm super excited, even though it's one of the easier dragons to get. Uh, I'm super excited to have just one of the newer dragons because it's been so long that I've been out of date. All the new dragons usually take like hundreds of hours to farm. So it's awesome to finally have one new in a relatively short amount of time. I did have it day one, but uh, I just haven't made a video on it yet. So that is what we're going to be doing today. I did want to quickly mention really quick that you all should join my Discord channel. We are a partner Discord channel. You can find it in the description below. The channel name is just underrated54. One of the perks of being a partner with the Discord. But uh, the reason why you guys should all join it is because, well, the channel is awesome. And also because we are going to be doing giveaways over there on the Twitch channel that everyone has a chance to enter, as well as sub-only giveaways for my Twitch subs, which you can also find in the description below. But yes, everyone should join my Discord, and that is that. Let's continue on with the video. We're also playing Dracolite today. Uh, I do have a Dracolite now over 23k. I'm testing them out, gonna formulate my own opinions, and then I'll make a video for you guys saying basically my opinions on the newer Dracolite, even though the Dracolite was changed a while ago, I haven't made a video on it yet. So that is a, uh, a video for the future, though. We're going to spend a while testing them out before then so I can have an actual opinion and not just a quick impulse, you know, impulse opinion. But today we're going to be crafting up Ceres, Seraph of the Golden Veil. Once again, this is like the easiest dragon in the entire game to get. No joke, like easier than any other dragon you see on this list, at the very least, because these are all the craftable ones. Um, so he's definitely probably the easiest dragon in the entire game to get. So I highly recommend everyone go out and farm him. You get him by farming out the crystallized clouds in the Sky Realm. So very, very easy. It took me like five minutes on a Friday. So bonus dragon day. Uh, so that means probably like 15 minutes on any other day. Very, very, very easy to get. And that's only for the dragon egg fragments. Obviously, the rest of the stuff takes a bit longer, like the 300 dragon coins. But I'm talking more specifically about the egg fragments. I always just assume people have a lot of coins to begin with. Um, but yeah, let's craft him up. Let's see his description. Uh, I did get even more. So, like, I was getting, like, 30-plus fragments a pop. So that's why I have, like, so many more uh, Golden Veil Dragon Egg fragments than uh, I needed. But almost halfway to the next one, just randomly. Oh, nice. Someone got a pinata, a Hyper Pinata X. But anyways, the description of this guy is... Before a curse destroyed the land, the Veil Sean... Shun? Shown. Sean? I don't know that word. Shown? But it's not... O W N. I don't know what that is. Gold beneath the light of her wing. So I think it's supposed to be like shine, but past tense. So shown. Is that a real word though? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it, I would say it lit up. I don't know. But uh, it was lit. The veil shone gold beneath. Shone gold beneath the light of her wing. Okay. That's very confusing and uh, not important. So let's get on the actual dragon. I have yet to see this dragon in game. So this is going to be new for me. Um, Ser Ceres, there we go. All right, let's see. It doesn't, it's not going to match my Dracolites. It would have matched my Shadow Hunter, which I usually play, but today I wanted to finally switch it up and see what happens. I, <laughs> I, I get a dragon that doesn't match and would have matched perfectly with my previous class that I always played. But let's do it. Bam! Wow, that actually looks great. I thought it was just going to be plain, like plain dragon wings with like a little helmet on his head and it was going to be just like... A plain dragon, and someone got a diamond dragon. People are going ham right now with the rare drops. But yeah, this dragon looks a lot better than I thought. Um, is this made by anyone specific? Techno Shift. Techno Shift. I thought this was an in-house made dragon too, by the way. Uh, which is why I thought it would be kind of plain. But hey, this dragon looks a bit better than I was imagining. <laughs> Good thing I've never seen it before. And I can formulate or show you guys basically my first reaction. It looks a lot better than I thought. It's still not my style. Uh, you guys know that I'm just not into this type of, like, I'm not into the light side of things. I'm into, like, the dark side of things. So, this isn't really my style too much. But, hey, it looks great. Let's see. It's a VFX. Let's see. Let's get closer to the ground so we can see him a bit better. And, ah oh, man. Uh, it always sucks when we see those ones. Because those are the standard VFX for most of the, like, radiant to light the themed dragons they all have like the same exact vfx i'm pretty sure literally the same exact vfx we can test it but we're too lazy for that maybe this guy shot something in alburn but 
Yeah, those are just the standard VFX, sadly. The mod makers don't have anything to do with the VFX, by the way, so it wouldn't be on the mod makers' fault. It'd just be the devs decided, hey, these VFX match perfectly, so let's just stick with them. Um, I do wish they would do unique VFX. I know that's a lot of work, but unique VFX for every dragon, that's kind of just like a, a wish, I guess. <laughs> Something that would never really come to fruition, even though they were on a good roll for a while there. Um... There was a lot of dragons that had very, very, very unique VFX, which is what I was looking for. But let's go do some farming, I guess, while we uh, talk about some other things. So like I said, I really hope that a majority of you guys head on over to the Discord channel. That is where I will be. Uh, by the way, I'm farming more of the spider fragments because that's the last dragon I actually need to grind. It is still taking a while, no matter like all the buffs they've done or they've done. It still takes a long time. The spider dragon is still one of the hardest dragons to farm because it just takes way too long. I've spent 8 hours farming so far and I only have 36 out of 100 fragments out of 8 hours. So it's still like a 30 to 50 hour dragon which is on the very very high end. <laughs> and that's buffed. That's with the drops reduced in half as well as tripled on Fridays. It's crazy, man. It's still an insane dragon to get. Um, also, there's the new event for the Pinata Evaders, so uh, make sure you guys are going out and getting all of your uh, celebratory pinatas. I'll be, once again, throwing a bunch of pinatas on my Twitch channel at random times, so just go follow me on Twitch, and whenever I'm playing Trove, you can visit the channel, see if I'm throwing anything, giving anything away. But uh, yeah, that reminds me, I kind of got sidetracked in the Discord. Uh, we will be doing giveaways on the Discord, so I hope everyone goes over there and joins. For now, we're doing Shimmer Dream boxes, where you also have some codes from uh, mod makers like Skyrider that make all the Chaos-themed items and stuff like that, and her sister, Sky the Virus. Um, so they make, like, the Chaos-themed stuff, so, like, we have a bunch of codes for the allies that you get from the Shadowy Market that are worth, like, 30 Hearts of Darkness and stuff like that. So lots of stuff that's going to be going on over there. Uh, everyone joined up. We have, you know, voice channels and text channels and all that stuff. I just, I usually don't really self-promote too much or cross-promote my own stuff like my discord channel and my twitter and my twitch and stuff like that so i'm making an effort to kind of cross-promote them a bit more so i can spread you guys out between all the platforms that i'm on i'm more i'm on way more than just youtube so if you guys have had like a content drought for me for the past like year on youtube that's because the people over my twitch channel have been living it up i've been streaming every single day like eight hours plus a day um so definitely, if you are missing content from me, I'm on many more places. We got Discord, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, uh, and some other stuff. You know, I have other partners and sponsors and stuff that I will announce to you guys over time. I don't want to drown you guys, though, in self-promotion. So that's going to be all we talk about for now. The main goal is just to get you guys over to the Discord for now. We'll promote the other stuff at different videos. Um, so yeah, everyone join over on the Discord, and like I was mentioning with the Dracolite, I know the Dracolite has been, we should probably ride the dragon by the way, just to show it off a bit more in the video, that's titled and themed around the dragon, um, but anyways, what's going on with the Dracolite, I know the Dracolite was updated back in the Heroes patch, I believe, um, I think it was the Heroes, or maybe Adventures, I can't remember which one, it wasn't Heroes, Heroes was the, uh, Maybe it was. I don't know. You guys can let me know, actually. Was it Heroes or Adventures? It was one of those two. So I know it's been a while since the Draculite has been all buffed up and stuff. Um, and I've been hearing a lot about it, so I just wanted to test it out. See how it feels, just in general, on its own. Like, how it feels U9 farming. How it feels doing Shadow Towers. I've tried soloing Dreadnought. <laughs> Ultra Dread with Draculite. Didn't really work out too well but uh, that's what i'm doing i'm basically testing him out in every situ or it out in every situation so i know what the new direct light is good at and what the new direct light is not good at um and so far i'm gonna keep all of that to myself uh until i can have my full video where i'm just gonna uh, basically talk about him in every situation i want to do kind of a few videos like that with the rev the dracolites and basically just things that get changed um, and need to be updated, I felt like it'd be better instead of making like a, an updated class guide, which would basically be basically be the same exact video, it would literally just be to suffice the people that think it's not up to date, but all the stats are the same, all the builds are the same, all the allies that you're going to be using are the same, all the flask and emblems are going to be the same, all the stats on your gear are going to be the same. So instead of just redoing a video, just to make people happy and actually provide zero extra content, <laughs> I thought I might as well instead just play with it for a while, 
see how it feels in every situation, and give you guys a full in-depth analysis of the class after its changes. Uh, from obviously my perspective, I've played a lot of the game. I've been playing this game for five years straight. I have probably hundreds of hours on every single class. I have 23k on any class that I want. You know, so I have the power to test everything out. Um, at least like minimum 23k. Uh, that's like the minimum for me nowadays to even play classes at least 23k. So like I have I have uh, some insight on the class and I can give a, an accurate analysis by the end of this. Um, without a doubt. So, uh, yeah, that'll be a future video, though. Another Hyper EX Pinata. What is going on? These are, like, the rarest items in the entire game, and people are just going ham right now. <laughs> I'm a part of the Rampage chat, though, so I guess uh, I'll be getting a lot of notifications from that, since mostly everybody in the game is in that chat. Um, but yeah, that's, that's all the content for the future, and this dragon, once again, looks great. I wish that they would stop using these VFX. I feel like they're kind of, <laughs> like, I, I hate the word lazy, but they were on a roll for a while, and for the past while, they're actually not on a roll. They're going with the same VFX for the past, like, three dragons I've looked at. They've all been the same exact VFX, so... Why? Why? I don't know. <laughs> I really was enjoying the unique VFX of the, the like, Eclipse dragons and stuff like that, where I thought we were going the right direction. But that is this dragon, and we will go over the next dragon in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you guys next time. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like, and if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button plus the bell next to it so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. If you would like to further support the channel, make sure to check out my Humble Bundle affiliate links in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.